In this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust the manual varifocal lens on the 4M98 camera. And first, you're going to want to loosen up and open the bottom compartment. Now, this might be a little difficult to do. Uh, the reason why is that it's got to be very tight for water or any kind of weather. This is uh, helps with the weather protection to have this as tight as possible. So eventually they're just going to start turning. That means you've hit the washer there and you can just bring up the compartment like that. And you're going to see that this has a gasket and is also attached to the board there on the inside. Now you're going to want to set your screwdriver down and you're going to want to, if you have a smaller flathead, you're going to want to use that instead because these are very small and then you don't want to break them. So you're going to come in here and you're going to see these two notches. So you can't see the writing in here, but it says T to the left and W to the right. So if you go to the left, you're going to telescope in, that's zooming in. You go to the right, that's bringing it to a wider angle. And that will always be your zoom. So you're going to take this, you're going to screw it left. Don't screw it all the way, unscrew it all the way though. You're just going to loosen it until it becomes loose so you can move it to the left or to the right. And then another important thing is to not force it when it gets to a certain point. And also don't force this knob. You can also use your hands to tighten it as it's not too tight in and then you of course don't want to tighten it too much because you'll also break the mechanism on the inside. So just kind of give it a little a finger tight there and then you'll notice the focus is in front of the zoom. So you'll also want to take your screwdriver if it's a little tight you take your flathead screwdriver unscrew it a little bit and then again, it's a left or a right. Just kind of loosen this up a little bit more here. And then you can focus it to the left or to the right. And that's how you can adjust the zoom in focus. So of course you want to have this camera connected to your DVR so you can view it and then get the correct zoom in focus levels that you want. But then after you're done doing that, make sure that when you go ahead and place this back on here that your, your tether here is in the same position that it was before. Ours was coming from the bottom, so we want to make sure it's leading down here to the bottom. We're not going to switch it around, although you probably could, and it'll fit on there. We're going to make sure that it does line up the way when we opened it. So now we've got it back on here, and we just need to tighten it back up. So, when you've tightened it back up, you want to make sure that these lips do not look like they're loose at all. You don't want to see any kind of gaps here. So then when you've got it perfectly tightened in, you're all set. And again, just to reiterate, you're going to want to make sure that this is as tight as possible. Again, that's keeping any moisture out from inside of the camera and ruining it. Hopefully this video helps. Thank you for watching.